Well, you can now convert your documents into a structured data table like this in Notebook LM and you can even export the data directly into Google Sheets. So let me show you how you can create a table like this directly in Notebook LM. So step number one, let's navigate to the desktop web version of Notebook LM. So this feature is still very early and right now when I'm recording this video, uh, this feature is still only accessible in the desktop web version. But I'm pretty sure that this will be available even in the mobile app version in the future. So if you're watching this video in the future, you might want to check out your phone and perhaps uh, the feature is finally there in the platform anyway i'm going to open a notebook in this case i will try maybe uh, this one so here there is a new button that says data table you can click it but you can also click this pencil icon to customize the specific area that you want ai to focus on on the table now in this case i want you to generate a data table that focus only the top five options for most business owners okay so you can specify the the thing that you want to get in the table now click generate and just wait for ai to analyze the content or documents that you provided and later it will generate a structured data based on the request now it is actually very fast it is not like creating an infographic or creating audio overview where it could take forever but this could be done in several seconds and there you go now you can open it and you can expand the view and there you go so this is one two three four five okay that's good and yeah it is following my instruction and also it is based on the sources or documents that, that i provided now you can also export this directly into google sheets you can click this more button the three dot icon basically and then click export to sheets and just wait for a few seconds now the data has been exported directly from notebook lm into google sheets so yeah that's how you can utilize this new feature i think this is very useful for uh, maybe creating some comparison or perhaps you want to organize some data i think this is very very helpful to save you some time and improve your productivity so yeah that's basically it thank you for watching and i'll see you on my next video